it's splitting and pardon yeah um no, this is the projector which is going to be split back. Which should put the... Uh, so all? Yes, I can see on the display type. Uh, so, yeah, I don't understand. Can you put your stuff on this one? Yeah, put Luxor. Oh, okay. Um, no, the flux shouldn't be affecting it right now. Uh, <laughs> it is? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. No, no. It's At the night, you need actually. Yeah. That's brightness. Yeah. That's brightness. Colors. Yeah. 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 Soft colors. Soft colors. What? There is one one screen which is working. No, this one is working. No? Yeah, but it's not very bright. Uh, you can put your stuff. Try to put your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Can so it's all the resolution. Set it to high resolution. No, no, it's just. Set it to high resolution. This one. Yeah. Uh, Ah. Okay. Anything that's going outside the boundary, so just adjust it to fit in the screen. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No. Actually, this is better. Yeah. Better? <laughs> no, it's yeah, this is fine, man. Oh. It's okay. No, wait, this one is good. Look. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you see two browsers, okay? So uh, think of the two browsers as this is the user, okay, this is you, developer. So now, I mean, what this hack basically is about is if the user does stuff over at his place, okay, or clicks or whatever, the developer sees it, okay? So if there is some DOM change, uh, okay, it's hidden over here. But yeah, again, the developer can see it. Okay, but uh, I mean, so uh, basically the DOM events are, whatever is changes are happening on the DOM will be showed up over here, and the mouse events and the scroll and things like that. But the interesting part is, So this is the usual dev tools, okay? The dev tools is connected to this guy, okay? So, so a developer can basically change stuff on user side, okay? It's remotely, it's like WinRay, right? Yeah, it's remotely. Web Inspector Remote. Web Inspector Remote. It's Web Inspector Remote, but Web, web okay. Inspector Remote will run, run only on the user system, okay? okay. This can be on any system. I mean, I, I can show it on my iPad and all that. Okay, so this is running on any system. This is user side. The DevTools is connected to this guy, and whatever changes happen, they are mirrored back to the. So the right one is debug target. And uh, the right one is the debugging target. Yes. Okay. So and for example, server can be anywhere. That's what you're saying. Debugging server. Uh, no, this is a okay. developer's browser. Okay. Okay. There is a server which is. Uh, trying to intermediate between these two, okay. So, so yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I can sh show this demo of changing the color or background or whatever. So, I mean, you guys get what the uh, what's happening essentially. Yeah? So yeah, now you can ask questions. Tightly coupled to Chrome itself. Yeah, it's tightly coupled to Chrome. I mean, so uh, uh, this DevTools thing, basically Chrome allows it to be run as a server on the look. So it's basically for Android phones. 
Okay. So what I was saying, you are supposed to not be was not uh, directly coupled with Chrome. Uh -huh. This guy would be doing here, and he could open different browsers and see how it behaves. You can. Uh, it is uh, there, is there, is there is browser stack and things like that. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, this on mobile this safari also we can do this, right? Yeah, but it's coupled with WebKit. So yeah, on mobile safari also we can. Uh, do this. So whatever browser allows this to be run as remote server, mm -hmm. okay, on the local host at least. You can do that. You can do it. Yeah. So do you use WinTree server? Web Inspector remote server? No, no, no. Okay. No. So I think generally it's a bunch of Ajax calls it's making and there's a script <coughs> you're downloading there. Uh, no. So what's happening is, I mean, so how the user starts this is, uh, so this is user's browser, no? So he has to run this command, basically. Okay. So what it's doing is going at a, I mean, Third, uh, a server which is basically intermediate between these two guys. It's asking for a subdomain that is h dot local right now. I mean that is h right now, and it's basically tunneling. So this Chrome is opened with remote debugging uh, option. Okay, so DevTools is running as a server in here. Okay, so if you go to this guy's PC, user's PC, and type localhost colon nine two two two, you can see the DevTools over there. Okay. Now my problem was to basically have access to this server over the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's where the remote tunneling and things like that. So there is another project that I did called GoTunnel, which basically allows you to uh, make your local server accessible over the internet. Okay. So yeah. I I, I thought, thought I mean, told about Windray, right? Uh, uh -huh. It's not glued to WebKit at all. Like okay. you can use it on any browser of. It doesn't work with every browser. Okay. Huh? It doesn't work with apart from WebKit. It doesn't work with. Yeah, which one? The Windray. Windray. It doesn't work with the. Uh, it works with Safari. It, it works with Safari, but not. Uh, even on Mozilla. So, so not Mozilla. Not yeah. Mozilla. Yeah. So no, that's fine mean? because you can. It doesn't matter if it's just Chrome. You're huh. seeing your dev tools. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so what does it do? It, it's. By the way, it is going to work on Opera because Opera is adopted. Okay. So what does it do? They are allowed on WebKit and they are using Blink, right? Okay. No, they are not moving away from WebKit. They are cloning. They have forked the WebKit as a, a new engine link so that they can make you know, all the prefixes uh, faster application. Yeah, there's no new prefixes. <laughs> thankfully. So all your websites so, will be so instead of using, of using prefixes, they're going to be using an experimental. This one. W e i n. W e i n. So here's the catch. So we need only three things debugging server, debugging target, and client. Uh, one more thing is that uh, the middle web which you know transfers. Uh, through Ajax calls. Okay. So if you have these three things, you can do it anywhere. Now that's how we were working it at uh, Adobe. Okay. So uh, if you do it using cable, the way you were saying, so uh, uh, Mac gives uh, automatic support, support for iPhone and uh, yes. Safari. And and Android, Android, if you go and uh, open Chrome, install Chrome on Android, then there is an option called developer tools, enable developer tools, remote debugging. So if you enable that uh, from Android, from cable, you can do that. Otherwise, as long as you have, you are locally connected to your uh, debugging uh, server, you can do it. <coughs> But so the main problem yeah. with that uh, Safari and you know uh, debugging using USB is that only the later versions are supporting it. The older versions uh, of Safari and uh, WebKit, especially on when you are trying to debug on mobile, it's not possible using the remote deb debugging. That's fine. So uh, who cares for that's, where, <laughs> <laughs> that's where you know Windows is actually quite uh, useful. And okay. also more than that, uh, the touch inspect the touch element and other things. Uh, Adobe Edge tools have built uh, something um, on this port that is known as uh, Edge Inspect. Edge Inspect. And, uh, Shadow. Oh, Shadow. 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 Yeah. That's on Winry. Shadow yeah. runs on Winry. Okay, I haven't tried Winry, so I can't talk about it. Yeah, it's Pardon? Shadow is going to set up your server. Huh. You have to like, uh, open up that. Like, what is the use case? Is it for like end users? <coughs> This one it's, 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 it's like a, I mean, so it's like you have a client mm. and you are uh, he is remotely working and you are right. Yeah. So yeah. I have to like configure this firewall, open ports, things like that, or it doesn't. Um. So my guess is yes, yes, you would have to. So 